Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you a compilation of some of my past St. Patrick's Day gnomes for your inspiration. So, if you want to know how to make them, stick around. I'll show you how. Thank y'all so much for being here. I really appreciate it. All right, Maxwell? Okay, go ahead and cut all your pattern pieces out. I've given you this in a PDF and an SVG file, and we're going to attach the smallest circle into the bigger circle. Just center it on there just to give it some support. Then we're going to take the top, and we're just going to overhang it a quarter of an inch. And just be light on your glue. Start at one top part, and then go down the rest of it as, it's, as each piece starts to dry. That way, it'll keep you from getting glue all over everything. You don't want it oozing out on the sides. And the bottom of this hat is, is smaller than the top part of the hat. And it's in an oval shape. So we're gonna, when we attach our um, base to it, just kind of make sure that you get it um, in the oval shape. And go ahead and glue that down. Now the easiest way to do this is just to glue around the outside edge of that smaller circle. And then we're just going to put our hat back on top. Now we're going to go ahead and trim out this top, the top part of this hat in a little bit. So don't worry so much about glue coming through. Okay, for around the top, I'm just going to put take a quarter inch piece of craft foam and I'm just going to glue it all the way around. Now, don't put a lot of glue on this. Just put a little bit of glue. You don't want it oozing out. I had a little bit more glue coming out than I wanted to. I actually had to go back in and put another strip over the top of it to cover that up. Now we're going to go ahead and attach the bottom part. Just come over it, come down about a quarter of an inch, and then we're going to put a strip on the bottom that's a quarter inch um, thick too. And that's what's going to hold that hat on. That's what's going to hold the brim onto that hat. And just put a light bead of glue on the very front part, and then just go ahead and pull it all the way around and trim it out. Just find your center point, make sure you're at the center of the hat, and then go ahead and glue that down. And this will hold that brim on. You don't have to glue the brim on. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and put the black trim on it. And it's going to be with the curved side up. Just find your center point. Make sure you're at the front part of the hat, and we're just going to glue that on. Now, I stretched my craft foam a little bit as I went around because it wasn't going all the way to the back. I guess I glued a little bit um, tighter on my hat than I did before. But this stuff just will stretch. All you got to do is just pull on it a little bit, and it will stretch. Okay, next I'm just going to take a piece of uh, craft foam and I'm just going to cut it about an inch and a half by about a half inch and I'm just going to put that on the front of my hat like the little buckle and then I'm going to take some black craft foam and I'm just going to cut a little sliver so it does go across the front part of that buckle to make it a complete buckle. I'm just going to glue it right onto the front part. Next I'm just taking some decorative ribbon and I'm just going to run it up the side of the hat on both sides. And then I'm going to cut it off just below where that trim was. And then go ahead and glue it on down. And we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. Just kind of make sure that your spacing is even. But you do want to go just below where that trim is. And then go ahead and glue that on as well. Okay, next we're going to start the body, and I've given you the, the pattern in the description below. You're just going to go ahead and cut this piece off on the fold, and you're just going to do this one out of just regular fabric, and then we're going to come back in and make his jacket the same, but out of a different fabric. So hang on to your pattern when you finish cut this part out. Okay, then we're just going to glue up one side of the fabric, fold the other side over to the top of it, and then go ahead and let that dry good. Then we're going to turn it right side out, and then we are going to cut just the very tip of this off. And go ahead and pull it over your cone, pull it all the way down, and then we're going to start adding little slits at the bottom of it because we are going to glue this to the base. So go ahead and take your scissors and just make quarter inch slits all the way around, and then we're going to glue that down. Okay, for the jacket, you're going to take that same pattern piece and you're going to cut it off right where that first arrow is, and then go ahead and put it on the fold and go ahead and cut that out. And this is going to be for the jacket.
And then save your pattern pieces. We're going to do it again here in a second for the bottom part of his body. So go ahead and take your pattern again. Lay it on top of here. Go ahead and cut the round part off the bottom. And then we're going to come up an inch and a quarter. And we're going to curve the same curve that we just did there around there. And this is going to be for like his pants. Okay, and for his pants, we're just going to attach them right down at the bottom edge. So just make sure that it does go all the way down to the edge and you don't see any of the other fabric out the bottom part of it. And then just figure out exactly where you want it and then go ahead and glue that down. And then we're going to come back in with a little 3 inch circle and we are just going to put it on the bottom. Just to kind of fill it all in. So I'm just going to take a half inch piece of um, craft foam and I'm just going to put it around the waist for a belt. And I don't have an exact pattern for this, but just kind of measure around there and you can cut it to the length that you need it to be. And then I'm going to come back in with that same um, glitter craft foam and I'm going to add a little buckle to the front part of his pants or to the front part of his belt. And that's probably just a half by half. And then I'm going to cut a little sliver of the black craft foam like I did on the hat. And I'm going to put it across the front part of that buckle. So we're going to do the jacket. And we're going to come in one and a quarter inches on the bottom and three quarters of an inch on the top part of this jacket. And then that we're just going to wrap it around there. But we're going to glue this here in a minute. You just want to make sure that you have enough room where it's closed up in the front a little bit. And then we're going to come down two and a quarter inches from the top to actually put our jacket. So go ahead and wrap it around there. Come down two and a quarter inches. And we're going to spot glue up at the top on both sides. And then we're going to come down the side just a little bit, but not all the way. Because we need to have his jacket open a little bit at the bottom so that when he does sit on, sit on the ground, um, his jacket is not glued up to the top part there. So we're just going to come down the sides just a little bit and glue some in. Right before you get to his um, pants. We're going to cut the beard. We're going to go two inches wide by two and a quarter inches long. And then cutting behind the faux fur only, we're just going to cut in a U shape. All the way down to that bottom mark, back up to the top mark. And kind of make this one a little bit more narrow than we normally do. Just so not so thick in the bottom. And then cleaning the excess off. Okay, then to attach the beard, we're just going to add some glue to the back of it. And we're just going to come and line it up with the top part of that jacket. Okay, next we're just going to take two pipe cleaners. We're going to fold them in half and then we're going to build the sleeves. Now the sleeves are going to be two inches by six inches. We're not going to have any hands because his hands are going to be in his pockets. So just go ahead and put your glue down one side, add your pipe cleaner, and then just roll it up pretty tightly. And then go ahead and glue that down. Now you don't need to do any kind of a seam on this one because it's felt and there's not going to be any fraying on this fabric. And do exactly the same thing for the second arm. Just roll it up pretty tight because we want him to have kind of slender arms because he is going to be a little guy. Okay, next I'm just going to hold his arms up to his body. I'm going to put a, a um, pocket on him because he's going to have his hands in his pocket. So just figure out where you want that pocket to be. I think I'm about a half an inch up from the bottom of that um, jacket. And go ahead and glue that down on three sides only. Just make sure that you spend a little bit of time making sure that it's straight along the bottom. Okay, and then do the opposite side. Just make sure that it's lined up with the one on the other side. Because you don't, you want to make sure that they're even. And then I'm going to take some of that same trim that I put on the hat and I'm just going to put it across the top part of these pockets. Just going to glue it right along the top edge there. 
Just make sure you don't glue your pocket shut. Okay, next I'm just going to go ahead and start attaching my arms. Now I'm going to put some um, little gold coins in his pocket as well. Just go ahead and get his arm lined up in there. And then we're going to tie it off at the top here in a minute. If you need to kind of seal those up a little bit so they don't protrude out as much, just go ahead and seal those up. Okay, and then I'm just going to go ahead and add these little coins. And I got these at the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to put one in each one of his pockets. And then a little bit later, I'm going to put another one in his pocket as well. And then just go ahead and pull it up at the top. And we're just going to tie this off real tight with a string. Next, I'm going to make his shoes. I'm just going to take like a, a one inch ball. I'm going to roll it into a tube and I'm going to split it in half. And this is oven baked clay at Sculpey 3. I'm just going to roll it in a ball, mash it down, and then I'm going to push it in in the front so that I can wrap it around the curve of the cone. Like that. Do the same thing with the other one. And then we're going to turn his toes up a little bit. Kind of make it look more like he has like a little boot on. Just make sure that they go up against the body. And then we're just going to go ahead and just kind of Turn the toe up a little bit. Just pinch it and bend it up a little bit. And then do the same thing with the second one. And then I'm going to take some wire. I'm going to cut it off. So I need enough wire to go inside of the, the cone and into the shoe. I'm just going to curl the end of it because I want to make sure that my clay stays adhered to this. And then I'm just going to push it into my shoe and then kind of um, push it around it. Just kind of push it on in there and then just kind of push it around it a little bit. And then that should stay in place when you bake it. Just make sure your toes, stand, your toes are still up on the front. And then bake it at 275 degrees for 15 minutes. Okay, now that they're baked, we're just going to take our X-Acto knife and poke a hole into it. Go ahead and put both feet in there just to make sure they fit good. Kind of space them out a little bit. And then we're going to take them back out and we're going to glue them in. So you can put a little bit of glue in the hole and you're going to put a little bit of glue on the shoe itself. And then just go ahead and put it back in on both of them. Okay, next go ahead and put his hat on and we're just going to separate his beard right up at the top edge of that hat because we're going to put that his nose right in the middle there. So go ahead and separate it. Then we're going to take the hat off. Just make sure it's exactly where we need it to be. Kind of still straighten out the hair and then we are just going to glue that nose right to the center of where those two pieces meet. Just make sure that when you put your hat back on it is in the right place and then go ahead and glue on your nose. And then we're going to put glue on the back part of the hat and we're just going to attach it to his body. Okay, I think this one turned out so cute. He kind of reminds me of the Monopoly man. Let me know what you think in the comments. Okay guys, for this video, you're going to need some pipe insulation. You're going to need some decor for his hat. You're going to need a faux fur, a little bucket, some glitter foam, some coins, a couple of hair noodles, a couple sticks, some clay, a piece of wire, some fabric, and then you're going to need the Pinewood Derby weights, the ones that you cut to the size you want. Okay, let's get started. First thing what we're going to do is we're going to take our larger of the hair noodles. We're going to take our wire completely out of it. We're going to fold it in half and we're going to mark the center so that we can get enough for two um, legs and two, two for the shoes. Then go ahead and cut your um, noodle in half and then take the other one and we're going to cut them at one inch and that's going to be for the shoe part and then you're going to go back in and cut off one and three quarters of an inch for the leg part. 
I didn't show to cut off that bottom part, but you need to go ahead and make sure it cuts at one and three quarters. Go ahead and sharpen your um, sticks, and then we're going to cut them at four inches in length. And I'm just sharpening mine with a pencil sharpener. Okay, then take your um, little one inch piece and trim off the bottom just so it's flat on the bottom. I didn't do this in the video. It still worked for me fine, but it makes it a little bit more stable if you go ahead and cut that bottom piece off. Then we're going to take our stick, run it through the leg, and then we're going to poke it down into the, to the shoe. So just make sure that it lines up straight and then do the same thing for the other one. Then we're going to turn the, bunt, the blunt end of the stick and stick it down into that shoe and push those together. So that's going to be like the leg and the foot. And you're going to have to spend a little bit of time just making sure that you get these straight. So you want to make sure that they stand straight up and down. Then I went ahead and took some glue and glued the noodle to the noodle. But just make sure that you have a 90 degree bend there. Okay, then I'm going to take the Pinewood Derby weight and I'm going to cut it to the size of the bottom of that. And that's what's going to give it the weight and make it stand up. And it, and it does hang over the edge just a little bit, but not a lot. And then just glue it down there. And then we're going to come back in and glue them to the, to the foot itself. So you just want to make sure that you get a piece big enough to cover the entire bottom of that shoe. And then we're going to come back in and put some um, glue on both sides of that. So to glue the um, wire, I mean to the um, weight to the noodle, just so that it doesn't roll at all and it stays completely straight. Okay, now we're going to take a one and a quarter inch strip of uh, glitter foam and we are just going to wrap it around to make the shoe. Starting in the very back, just line it up and then go all the way around. Now you're not going to glue it to the sides because we don't want to make it look like it's a square. We want to kind of give it some curves. So just go all the way around and then just glue it again in the back. And then we're just going to take our glue, put a dot of glue in the front and push that um, together, squeeze it together. Just don't get too much glue in the front or you won't be able to do that part right there. And then we're going to put it in the front and glue it flat. And that's going to make our shoe. Then we're going to come back and trim them out here in a little bit. So just come down the back. And then we're going to put some soles on them too. So we're going to, we are going to trim them up nicely. It just gives it for a little bit smaller shoe. And that's what we're trying to get. Okay, then just go ahead and put one dot of glue in the front, squeeze it together. And then open up that hole in the front and glue it flat. Okay, now with a quarter inch piece of trim, that's what we're going to trim it out with. But we're going to take this other piece that we just cut off and that's where we're going to make the sole. So just go ahead and glue it around the shoe and onto that weight. And then set it on that um, excess fabric that you have, the excess um, glitter foam that you have with the glitter side down. Okay, we're going to go ahead and cut those in half and we're just going to trim as close to the edge of the shoe as we can. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're getting ready to cover it up with a piece of trim. And that's a quarter inch strip of the same glitter foam. Come to the back and then just and pull it tight as you're going around, not too tight before you break it. But just kind of stretch it around there and it will seal all that up real nicely. And then just trim that off and glue that down. And then we're going to take it and we're going to do the same thing with the top. And we're going to go around the whole top part, starting in the back, just to trim out that top against that leg. And then you're going to do the same thing with the other shoe. We're going to go ahead and add a one inch by one inch piece of um, glitter foam to the front. That's the buckle. That's kind of a champagne colored glitter foam. 
and then we're going to cut a little strip of the green glitter foam to go across the front of it just to kind of make it look like it's a buckle. Okay, and then do the exact same thing to the opposite shoe. Just pull that snugly around there. If you pull it snugly, it will, um, you won't be able to see any gaps between that and the, and the sole. It, it does make it look good. Okay, now we're going to take some cotton fabric. We're going to fold up the five and a half inch side and then one of the two inch sides on both of them and that way we'll have a nice um, hem on the bottom and the back of his, of his legs, of his pants. Okay, then we're just going to go ahead and start at the very top part edge of that shoe and I'm just going to wrap that all the way around and we're just going to glue around the bottom part just to kind of make it snug up there and then go ahead and glue down the back. And then do the same thing with the opposite one. Just make sure that your hem's on the bottom and then your, um, that you finish out your seam in the back with the side that we um, folded over, the trimmed out edge. Okay, now grab your scissors and we're going to cut a few little slits along the top so we can fold it over to cover up the um, end of it, smooth it out real good so that when we stick it into the leg you don't see a lot of fabric sticking up. Just glue it down to the noodle. And those are about quarter inch slits all the way around. Okay, next we're going to do our body. And I'm taking a piece of um, pipe insulation. I got it at Lowe's and I'll give you the link for it. Um, honestly, you can get 16 gnomes out of this one roll. And it's $1.78 a, a, for a six foot length. We're just going to fold that over one side so we have a nice trimmed out edge. And then I'm not putting any glue in the middle. I look like I started to right there. But I didn't want to put any glue in the middle because I didn't want any to seep through. So the only glue that you're going to have is on the back part. And then we're going to put the same slits all the way around the top and the bottom to secure it to that noodle. And this is smaller than a um, Dollar Tree noodle. This is like 1.77 inches. But to go into that... Um, pot of gold that I got at the Dollar Tree that had to be that size. Now if you don't have one of these noodles you can use a paper roll but make sure you put some styrofoam inside so that when you push the legs up in it it has something to grab to. Okay then just going to put a bunch of glue in the very bottom around and just around the edge not in the center and just go ahead and push that noodle on into it and then figure out where you want your front to be before you push it all the way down in there so that you make sure your seam is in the back. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and cut my holes for my legs and I'm just going to kind of evenly space them kind of in the middle and then on the sides. Just make sure you get your balance good. But these, these ended up balancing real well. I was surprised as little as they are, but they balanced great. Okay, now we're going to take our beard and we're going to cut it at two inches by two inches. In the picture I showed it two inches by two and a quarter, but I came back and trimmed it out. So two inches by two inches is what we're going to trim. And just go all the way around the backing of the faux fur only and clean that excess fur off. Then we're going to come and attach this to the noodle about a half an inch down. And next we're going to make his hands. We're going to take a ball about 12 millimeter and we're going to take a little pinch off of it, roll it in a ball, then roll it in a little log and that's going to be his thumb. Then we're going to take the remainder of the ball and we are going to 
press it, pull it apart, press down the front, flatten it down, and then squeeze the two sides on the back part. And that's going to make a hand. And do the same thing for the opposite one. Just squeeze, pull it apart, squeeze the front flat, and then squeeze in the back together. Then we're just going to cut it into three fingers. And then just separate those, and then we we'll just roll them in your fingers till they come to a point. And then we're going to bake these at 250 degrees for 15 minutes when we get done. So just roll those till they get you get them what you where you want them, and then go ahead and add the thumb. Now make sure you put opposite thumbs on these hands so that you don't have their thumbs on the same side. And once you get it exactly like you want it, I'm just going to curl them up just a little bit over so that they look like they're relaxed. And then I'm going to put a piece of wire in there to put it in the oven and that's what's going to attach it to our gnome. And then be sure and do the second one the same way. Then we're going to take our noodle for our arms. We're just going to cut it in half. And then go ahead and cut this off at two and three quarters of an inch. I figured out afterwards that I had it long and I had to go back in there and, and trim it up. But go ahead and take all the wire out of there at first and save it because we are going to put it back in there. And then just take your hand, put it down in there, and then we're going to glue those in. And then do the same thing for the opposite side. And then this is where I held it up to the gnome and figured out my hands were too long. And I went ahead and trimmed them. Get them both even, both the same size. And then go ahead and straighten out your wire. Take that little white piece off of there. Cut it off of there. We're not going to use that part, but we are going to use the wire. We're going to stick the wire right back down in there, and we're going to glue it in. And that's what's going to hold it to our um, gnome itself. Then we're going to take the pliers, and we are going to fold that over so we don't have a sharp end on it, and then squeeze that off. Okay, now we're going to take our fabric for our arms. We are going to glue up the um, short side and one of the long sides. And then we're going to wrap it around the arm, but we're not going to glue it to the arm. So start at the side that's um, not finished, and we're just going to go all the way around. And then we're going to make sure that our um, seam is in the back. So just turn your hand to your seam is in the back and then just glue that down. Trying to make a little bit loose um, looking, not so um, glued tight. And then glue the tip, the end of it down to that wire. And then do the same thing for this one as well. Just roll it up, but do not glue it to the arm. Just make sure your seam ends up not in the back, but inside in the inside. So it'll be the seam will be against his body. And then glue that end to the wire. Okay, now we're going to just bend our wires over probably about a half an inch, and that's what we're going to do to attach it to our, our nose. We're going to come down three quarters of an inch from the top edge of his beard and make a mark. And then we're going to take our X-Acto knife and we're going to poke a hole through there. And then if you push your if you push your arm on in there and kind of twist it, you'll get it all the way down to where the bend of the arm is. And then we will glue those back in. We will glue them in here in just a second. But that way his arm is completely flush to that body. And then we're going to do the same thing for the opposite side. And 
And if your arms overlap inside and you can't get it through, take your finger and put it down into that hole and bend one of those wires down. And then it'll go in there real easy. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and take the hat and make the hat. We are going to break up the fibers on the top part of the hat and then about around the trim as well. That way it will curve real easily without bending. Then we're going to go up three quarters of an inch and then glue that over. So three quarters of an inch just below that line and glue it in. Then we're going to take our, um, our hat and we are going to glue around the edge of the hat to glue it to the top part of the hat. And then we're going to slide that over the bottom and we're going to come up about a quarter of an inch from the bottom and then we are going to glue around the top part of the um, circle to attach it to the hat and then we're going to come around the bottom and we're going to attach a piece of um, trim that's about three-eighths of an inch in length. I mean three-eighths of an inch in width. And that's just going to hold that hat together. Okay, now we're getting our measurement for our strip to go around it. We're going to take our um, pieces and put one on the top and one on the bottom of the brim to cover up that um, cardboard. Just make sure it's on there and then go ahead and glue that down and take your time on this part. Make sure you glue it down pretty tight all the way to the edge because we are going to come back with a um, 3 8 inch strip of glitter foam to put around it to trim it completely out. So you want to make sure you don't have any areas that are lifting. Get it glued in there good. And then starting in the back of the hat, attach your trim and kind of stretch it along the way like we did on the shoes and it'll really make it um, finish out nicely. You don't need a lot of glue, just a little bit of glue will go a long way on craft foam. Okay, and then finish that off and then we're going to go ahead and glue the little circle to the top part of the hat. And then you can use the same pattern if you want to with the cardboard piece to cut out the um, foam that goes around the hat, but you will need to trim it down just a little bit because remember we put that lip on the bottom. And um, you can just take a paper cutter and just trim that off. And then we're going to come back in the same thing on the bottom part of the hat and put a strip in there too. It's like three eighths of an inch and then just trim that out. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and do his um, ears. We're going to take two little pea sized balls. We're just going to stretch them apart on one end. We're going to make a point. Then we're going to push in the opposite side to go against his head. Then we're going to draw a couple little lines to look like ears and stick a wire in there and do the same thing for the opposite side just making sure that they are pointing the opposite way. Then you're going to bake them at 250 degrees for 15 minutes. And that wire is what's going to attach it to our gnome. Okay next we're going to just put a buckle on his hat like we did his shoes. It's about a half inch by one inch. And then we're going to put a green strip in the middle just to make it look like a buckle. Okay, next we're just going to go ahead and attach his nose and we're just going to go about a half inch down from the top edge of the beard. And then we're going to take his, his legs back out, glue those in because we didn't have those glued in yet. And I do that, I tried to do that last just to make sure that he was stable and he is very stable. Okay, then take his hat, we're going to put glue just along the back edge of it. And attach it to and kind of lean it backwards a little bit and glue it to the back of his head. Then I'm just going to come in with the ears and I'm going to put them through the hat, find out exactly where they go, run an exacto through there, and then run a wire through there just to make sure it opens up because remember you have that cardboard around that hat. Just make sure you got it where you want it and then trim off any excess and then you are going to have to glue those wires into those ears because they did not bake in. They don't bake in solid. 
and then we are going to glue those to his hat. And put a little glue on the ear as well. And then we're going to do exactly the same thing for the opposite side and then we are going to dress him up. We are just putting some shamrocks different places on him. I'm going to put a coin in his hand and a few other shamrocks on him. Then I come back in here and I'm going to put a shamrock, a little bitty shamrock on his beard. And I got those at Hobby Lobby, that bag of shamrocks. It's a little bitty one. All right, there you have it. Okay, there you have it, a little leprechaun. This one was a fun one to create, creating the balance on him. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to make this cute, adorable little St. Patrick's Day gnome. He is made with a Dollar Tree hat. And I know a lot of you are saying, yeah, I can't get that hat because they don't have a Dollar Tree near me or they're sold out at my Dollar Tree. But I've got your back. You can make the same exact thing out of these Solo Cups and cardboard. All you've got to do is cut this trim off the bottom, put two cups together, glue this cardboard on, and I have a pattern for it in the description below. I even made a mock-up of the same hat with that pattern, and it's just like this one. So, if you want to know how to make it, stick around. I'll show you how. You're going to need a pair of knee socks. You're going to need a hat from the Dollar Tree. You're going to need two dowel rods. They are five and a half inches by a quarter inch. You're going to need some um, corks, and you're going to go ahead and drill a hole through the middle of those because they're going to go onto those dowel rods. You're going to need some batting, some ribbon, um, you're going to need beads for the hands, a bead for the nose. Um, this is a piece of foam measuring 1 inch by 11 inch for the hat. You can need two pipe cleaners, um, some styrofoam, and I'll put all the sizes in the description. Um, some decorations for your hat, um, a pair of little shoes, and a beard. And if you don't, if you can't get this at the Dollar Tree, um, I'm going to include a pattern where you can use two 16 ounce Solo cups with this. And um, you'll just cut this out of um, cardboard, and you'll take your Solo Cups and put them inside of it. Take two of them so they're um, a little bit thicker and they hold up better. You're going you're gonna to tape these down to each other. On the back, you're going to cut that ridge around both of them so that the hat can go inside of them. And then after you get it all um, taped down to cover up the tape, you can just take the pattern and cut it out of cardstock and um, glue it down to your hat. And... Uh, that will be in the, the, the pattern will be in the description. We're going to start with our hat. We're going to go ahead and take it apart. And uh, the easiest way to take the, the ones on the bottom off is to go ahead and cut the little nubs off. Because we're going to cut those off anyway. And then we're going to go ahead and start taking the um, decorative stuff off of the hat. Because you can use this hat just like it is if you want to. But I'm not doing it in this, um, in this tutorial. I'm going to put something else on it. And um, once you get it all completely taken apart, we're going to take some um, scissors and go ahead and cut all the little nubs around the base off. And we're going to do the same thing on the top because we want our hat not to have all those nubs sticking out. And you can just do those with a pair of scissors, just the top ones and the bottom ones. You don't have to worry about the ones down the side. Then we're going to take some batting and we're going to double it up to go over the top just so that the top of our hat is a little bit more smooth. You just put that over the top of that. We're going to go ahead and trim it out and then we're going to go ahead and glue it down. And then once you've got the um, bottom one glued down, you'll go ahead and glue the top piece to the bottom because again we did two layers of batting on this. Then we're going to go ahead and take our sock and put it over the top of it. And this is going to take a little effort. You're going to have to stretch it on down in there, but it, you can get it done. Um, just keep pulling it and pulling it and pull it until the toe of the, of the sock is on the top of the hat. And we want it to go cover the whole top of the hat. And then pull your sock on down. It's kind of going to be like a um, slouchy hat. We're going to go ahead and pull the um, edge around the base of the hat and up into the hat and if you're using stripe try to make sure that your ridge of your hat um, when you're looking at the top of it is kind of evened out as far as color before you um, finish it up then we're going to take it and just going to stuff the in the bottom of the sock inside of there and then we're just going to kind of take it some time and um, try to get exactly how we want our slouchiness to look on our hat and you definitely want to cover up the heel 
That's why we're doing a slouchy, slouchy um, hat. Okay, once we get that done, we're going to go ahead and start um, assembling the, bottle, the body. We're going to start with the feet and the legs. And we're going to take these dowel pins and stick them through the corks. And just make sure that the cork is flush with the pin because we want it to set inside of our shoe flush so it doesn't tilt. We want our, our gnome to be able to stand up straight. Once you get those in there, then we're going to go ahead and make some, um, take some fabric and we're going to make some um, legs out of them with the stalks. And we're just going to lay our um, corks on there and cut off a little piece. We don't need to go all the way to the top of the dowel rod because that's going to actually go inside the styrofoam. And we'll go ahead and get that cut open and we will um, attach that to that cork. We're going to trim out one side because we want our seam to be down the back of the shoe, back of the leg, and we want it trimmed out. So we are going to put a quarter inch um, hem on this right now. And we're going to do the same thing for the opposite side as well. Then we're going to just take some glue and we're going to roll our cork up into it with the bottom of the um, with the bottom of the leg flush with the fabric. And then we're just going to glue that edge down, and we're going to do that for both pieces. Next, we're going to open up our shoe. You're going to have to untie it to get it opened all the way. We're going to open up our shoe, and we are going to glue that leg down inside of our shoe. Just make sure that that seam is at the back, because you don't want it showing in the front before we glue it down. And then we're just going to put some glue inside that shoe, and we're going to glue that leg inside of it. And then just um, tie your shoelaces back up, and we're going to go ahead and do the same thing for the other leg. And then glue that one inside that shoe. Make sure that that seam is at the back. Then we're going to take the top of our sock and we're going to trim it down, um, into like four, three or four sections because that's actually going to glue to the body of our um, gnome to the styrofoam and we want it to be flush. And we're going to do the same thing on both sides. Then make sure that you um, have lefts and rights on the correct side before you put it into your gnome. Um, went ahead and peeled that um, fabric back and we're going to stick it into this styrofoam cone and just kind of get it in there um, centered in there so that it'll stand up good. And we're going to push that on in there and check them out, make sure they're right, make sure they're the same height, and then we're going to go ahead and start gluing those in. And then again, make sure your right's on the right and your left's on the left because you don't want his feet poking out sideways. Okay, once you get that glued in, you probably want to stand it up and just make sure he's straight. Then we're going to take that fabric that was on the legs and we're going to adhere it with glue to the um, foam because we're going to finish trimming this out here in a minute when we put the body on. We just need that to be flush. And after you get it all glued down, go ahead and trim it out so you get rid of all the excess. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and um, put our hat on and we're going to mark where our body starts so that we can... Um, put some batting around him and make him a little bit fuller. So just draw a line right there where your hat stops and we're going to attach some batting. So just hold your batting up there and we're going to we're going to glue it on below that line. So just um, figure out exactly how much batting you need and we're going to glue it around there. We're only going to do one time around on the batting. So glue that side down and wrap the other one around and glue it down as well and then we're going to go ahead and trim it out. And then we're going to attach our sock and we're going to take the trimmed in 
and go over top of it because that's going to be underneath on the bottom so it's trimmed out nicely. And just keep put, um, move it around until you get it flat up there because we're going to glue that down in a minute. We don't want him to look like he has on a dress. We want him to look like he just has a body. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and pull the top up and we're going to cut about two inches above the tip of the cone. And then we're going to tie that off. Okay, once you got that tied off, we're going to go ahead and glue down the edge of the hat or the, the body down to, um, to cover up where the legs were attached. Then we're going to go ahead and put our hat on and we're going to attach our beard. And again, when you're cutting a beard, we're, made, we're doing this one at two and three quarter inches wide by three inches in length. Just cut the backing only, not, the, not all the way through the beard. And then just comb it out to get rid of the excess. And then we're going to attach it right below the hat. And then I'm just taking like a little tool um, just to stuff the edge up underneath the hat real good so that the edge doesn't show. And then we're going to um, glue the body down, to the beard down to the body. Now we're going to attach our nose and we're just going to put it right below the hat and glue that down. And we'll put that aside and we're going to start building our arms. So we're going to take um, pipe cleaner, bend it on them in half, and you can make your arms however long you want to. Um, I'm actually going to trim these out here in a little bit because they were longer than I wanted them to be. So once you stuff them up underneath the hat, just determine how long you want your arms to be and... Um, you can have them whatever length you want. I'm just trimming it. I'm just trying to figure out exactly how I want it and if I want to bend it and um, so how long I need it. And then I'm going to trim it off. And then I'm going to trim it off here again in a minute but because it was still too long. Then I'm going to just um, take the fabric and cut it out. And I'm going to have enough for two. Trim it in half. And then we're going to hem these up. On the bottom and we're also going to hem them up on the side so that our seam is a clean seam so we're going up about a quarter of an inch on the hem and that's going to be the side where the arm goes I mean where the hand goes and then we're going to do that on both of them and then we're going to trim them out the same thing on the side so we have a nice seam once we get done And then we're going to attach our pipe cleaner and we're going to roll those up. And when you're rolling them up, try to roll them up as tight as you can. I mean, they don't have to be real tight, but, you know, we don't want a bunch of loose fabric on his arms. And leave enough at the at the front to put the bead in as well. And when you're doing the bead, you can do the bead um, from side to side and hide it down in the hand. Or if you want to, um, the gnome to hold something like a stick or something you can leave the beads showing so that you can run a stick through them through the center of it like I like I had in the picture of the gnome at the beginning and we're gonna go ahead and just glue our beads down in, in there and we're gonna do the same thing for the other side roll up that arm glue it down and then we're gonna add our bead And we're just going to stuff that up underneath there to see how long we want them. And again, I'm they were too long, so I'm trimming them out. And then just stuff it up underneath that hat. And we're going to do the same thing for the opposite side. Make sure that they're even before we glue them down. And then we're going to go ahead and glue his arms down to his body. 
on both sides. Now I'm going to take this uh, the ribbon and I'm going to take that um, felt, um, that glitter foam and I'm going to attach my ribbon to that. And that's going to be the trim around the base of his hat. And you can decorate them however you want to. This is just what I did. And then just um, take that and wrap it around and glue the back. And then I'm going to attach these... Um, Four leaf clovers. I'm attached. Um, I attached one, and then I figured out I needed to go ahead and add my ribbon first. So I went back and I took some ribbon and tied it in a bow, and I'm just putting that onto the side of the hat. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go back and finish putting um, my four leaf clover on. And something I did on this one, you'll see here in a minute, is I put too much glue on that, and that melted the foil on one of them. So I had to come back and pull it off. So just put a dot of glue because you don't need any more than that. And then I'm going to attach some little um, stones, you know, some little glittery stones to the center of each of the four-leaf clover. And then there you have it, a cute little St. Patrick's Day gnome. If you like the video, hit like. If you want to see future videos, hit subscribe. And if you want to be notified when I have another video, hit the bell. Thanks for watching. Hey, this one was a super quick and easy one to make. If you can't find these hats at the Dollar Tree, you can always download the pattern I've given you to make them from scratch. All my patterns are downloaded in the description below. You can just download them and print them. If you like these kind of videos, be sure and give me a like, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified when I have a new video upload. I hope you all enjoyed the video. It gave you some inspiration. And remember again, if you can't find the pattern in the description below, you can always download them from my website at www www.pattyjgood.com. All of my patterns are located on that website. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it.